Bungie is cheesing the Guardians with the new Treasure of Ages loot boxes, man. So these things are pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff inside of them, but at the same time, there's a lot of old stuff and a lot of kind of just crap, useless, not very exciting stuff. Now, over the past week since Age of Triumph launched, I've picked up every one of these treasure boxes from activities. I did buy a few as well because I'm a terrible heathen. But the loot that comes out of them is pretty lackluster, man. You'll probably notice that you're getting a ton of sparrow horns, and this can get a little bit annoying. But my friend Dankum told me a little trick the other day which just hadn't crossed my mind that can totally improve the loot that you get out of these Treasure of Ages boxes. So it keeps giving these sparrow horns, man, and they are just absolutely diluting the loot pool inside of these Treasure of Ages boxes. So what I did is went over to the Silver Dust kiosk. If you have a bunch of Silver Dust laying around, you can actually go ahead and buy all of these sparrow horns right here. And I bought all of them until, you know, there were none that I didn't have. And then going back to the Treasure of Ages boxes, I have not received a single sparrow horn since I picked all of these up. So everything I've had out of these treasure boxes over the past week has been, you know, old repeated stuff and a lot of sparrow horns when I'm actually turning them in. So immediately after purchasing all of these sparrow horns, I turn in another treasure box and right there I get the Arctic Survivalist ornament as well as the new Tiger Shark ornament for the Dragon's Breath. I pick up another one and get the Needle and Thread, which is one of the new ships from the Treasure of Ages boxes. I open another one and get the Heart of Gold ornament, which I know is an older ornament, but it's one that I've never had. The next box gets me Carry On for the Hawk Moon. Immediately after that, though, I get Settled Score, which is the new ornament for the Touch of Malice. I open another one and get Chrono Shot, the new Vex Mythoclast ornament. And I open another shortly after this and I get the Moon Glow, as well as Undiscovered Country. Country, which is the new No Land Beyond ornament. So as you can see, the loot that I'm getting from these packages is pretty good right there, getting a lot of ornaments, a lot of new stuff in particular as well. And in the previous week, any of these that I'd opened, you know, hadn't contained new ornaments or any of the cool, exciting gear. So it does seem to help quite a lot if you go and pick up all of those sparrow horns because they are no longer going to drop inside of the packages for you. I'm not claiming that this is going to land you the best loot and you're going to get everything that you want immediately but I feel like if you want good loot from these treasure boxes, it's going to be worth picking up all of those sparrow horns to just get them out of the loot table, and from there on out, you're going to get improved loot. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope the video has been useful. If it has, a like and comment below is appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with a lot of Destiny content. For now though, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.